Thanks for being here for Chief Jamie McDonald's oath of office. Um, for those of you that I do not know, I have the privilege to serve as the city manager for Tigard, and I'm, my name is Steve Reimer. Uh, I'll be overseeing the celebration today and the events and festivities. Uh, with that, will you please rise and join us as our honor guard presents our colors. Will you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Feel free to be seated if you choose. Once again, I want to say thank you uh, to all of you for being here, uh, to Jamie's family. Uh, he couldn't do this without all of you, so thanks for being here. Mayor and our council is here, so Mayor and council, thank you very much for being here and the support you have for our chief. To our city teammates that I see throughout here, thank you for representing Tigard. Uh, to our police officers, and our police department as a whole, thank you for being here. Our TPOA for your support. I also wanna thank our professional colleagues that are here from different agencies around the region. Uh, we appreciate you being here. And last but absolutely not least, I wanna thank uh, all of our community members for the support you have uh, for our police department and for being here today. As you know, this is an extremely important day for the Tigard Police Department, all of Team Tigard and the Tigard community. Appointing a police chief who cares about their entire community, supports their team, and has the support of their team, is an organizational leader, holds themselves accountable, is open and transparent, embraces equity, strives to continually improve, and has the support of family and friends are what we look for when making this important decision. I can tell you this decision was easy, as I just described Chief Jamie McDonald. Jamie, can you join me up here, please? So I've had the pleasure to work with Jamie um, in different ways for three and a half years now and have gotten to know him. Um, but Jamie has been part of this organization for 23 years. You just passed your 23 years last week, I believe. Yep. So congratulations on that. Um, during this time, uh, he is, we have learned, we believe, he is the first one to come up through the ranks. And so that's a great accomplishment on itself and a testament to who you are as a leader and as a person. So in 20, 2001, uh, he was hired as a police officer in 2006, he became a school resource officer. 2010, sergeant. 2014, a lieutenant. 2016, a commander. And now in 2024, the chief of police. So as I mentioned, I've known him for three and a half years, but people have known him a lot longer. And so we just had the chance to see what others have said about him over the years. And I just want to share a few of uh, the comments that have been shared uh, with Jamie and about Jamie. Uh, first, he's an except, he has exceptional leadership skills. Year after year, compliments and positive feedback come in about him. Never shies away from hard work or dealing with unpleasant situations. Fosters a sense of integrity and fairness. He's humble and one of the most honest and dedicated persons I have the pleasure of knowing. He models the behavior he expects from others and is respected for it. He's an excellent ambassador, ambassador for the city as a whole. He offers help where needed and works hard to exceed expectations. He cares a great deal about the level of service he provides and the impression he leaves on others. He projects a friendly and professional demeanor with everyone he meets. No matter the task, he is ready, he is ready with a can-do attitude and willingness to take ownership for the outcome. 
He's friendly and outgoing personality, coupled with great social skills and sincere care for others. And finally, this individual wrote, when he was sergeant, or this person was sergeant, I would ask him, what was he up to? He would reply, building bridges, boss, building bridges. <laughs> so Chief, I can certainly say in my shorter time here, you have certainly built many bridges and will continue to do so. And as I said, this was an easy decision for us to appoint you as their chief. At this point, we're gonna administer the oath of office and then we'll have Melissa come up and pin the badge on. So Chief, if you would join me. Yours. <laughs> Sorry, Thank you. Right, Thank you. you have readers? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go slow. I, James McDonald, do solemnly swear. I, James McDonald, do solemnly swear. To abide by the law enforcement code of ethics. To abide by the law enforcement code of ethics. To uphold and support the laws and constitution of the United States of America. To uphold and support the laws and constitution of the United States of America. The state of Oregon, the state of Oregon, and the charter and ordinances of the city of Tigard, and the charter and ordinances of the city of Tigard, to abide by the rules and regulations of the Tigard Police Department, to abide by the rules and regulations of the Tigard Police Department, and to faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge the duties of chief of police, and to faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge the duties of chief of police. Congratulations. Thanks, Steve. With that, Melissa, will you please join us? I'll hand you the badge. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll set that for you. It's a good thing you wear glasses. <laughs> I know. That's good. Thank you. Here, oh, I got this all screwed up now. Okay. <laughs> like Thank safety? you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so Steve mentioned uh, 23 years, uh, in fact, I'll go back to that. So 23 years ago when Melissa pinned my first badge on me, uh, it was the 2nd of July in 2001. Neither of us needed glasses at that time. Um, and my hair was brown, believe it or not, because uh, one of the newspapers found a 2006 photo of me where I actually had brown hair. And, um, but uh, today, uh, Tom Killian, who did my background, came into the office to say hello and congratulations. And he's actually here today, which oh, is cool. which is pretty cool. And um, Tom did confirm that, because Tom's got a little more uh, longevity with Tiger Police Department than, than uh, I do, because he started a long time before I did. Uh, that yes, I, that this is the first time a chief has come entirely uh, from within. And he said that he wrote in my background, which I have not seen, and Julia reminded me that I will not get to see it. Um, <laughs> He wrote in my background that in 25 years, this guy will be chief. Um, and uh, I can honestly say it's not something that I ever set out and aspired to do. But I've had a lot of great mentors along the way, many of whom are here in this room uh, this evening, that have shown me direction and something that's greater than yourself. And I can say honestly that this community and thank you to our mayor and council for all being here this evening. This community is why we all do this. It's why we're all police officers here in Tigard. I am a police officer first. If I make a traffic stop, which I know drives the sergeants crazy now, they hate it when I do it, um, they tell me so much, um, I say I'm Officer McDonald with the Tigard Police Department because that's what I am for this community because I'm a police officer first. And when we talk about what you can expect out of the men and women of this organization, you can expect the best that we can possibly find. 
And so what I'm here to tell everybody right now is that you can continue to expect those same types of things from, this, from the Tiger Police Department. The union president asked me on the 20th when Steve appointed me officially, he says, well, what big changes are you going to make, Chief? And I said, well, just wait for, for the morning after the swearing in, and that's when the big email comes out. <laughs> but no, the reality is, is this. Uh, we've been on a really good path for a long time. And the route of, of transparency and accountability is something you can continue to see from the Tiger Police Department. But more importantly, we're going to give more intentional focus on the men and women that work here in wellness and making sure that they take care of themselves, giving them the tools to do that. Because they can't be the best for this community if they aren't the best for themselves when they show up here every day. So that's an intentional focus that you'll see out of the police department more and more as time goes on. It's a stressful job. It's difficult to do. But we're going to get better at taking care of the people that work here because we owe it to them. Because they're here to serve this community, and that's what we're going to continue to do. And we're just going to keep getting better at it because we owe it to all of you. And I would just like to say thank you to all of you that took precious time out of your days to come here um, and celebrate with me and my family. It's very humbling. And I can't thank you enough for being here. Um, it means the world to me. Thank you. So just a couple um, key pieces for you. Here's your new employee badge as chief of police. Here's that. <laughs> and then here's also his certificate of promotion that was signed today. So congratulations again, chief. Hey, thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you again for being here, as Chief said. Uh, please feel free to socialize and mingle. If you'd like some pictures with the Chief, I'm sure he's amenable to that. Yeah, um, absolutely. But thanks again for being here, and uh, have a great day, and stay cool. Thank you. <clears throat>